color kids! This is Katie Carty Hiley from RainbowBright.net. Welcome back to the Rainbow Land Museum and to something I've been trying to do all week long unsuccessfully. <laughs> I had two friends, uh, Christina Young and Billy Bright, both wanted me to do a live reading of my personalized Rainbow Land, Adventure in Rainbow Land book. Um, and I tried so hard, you guys. You know I did because I was tagging Christina every time I tried. <laughs> And I don't know if it's Facebook having the issue, or my new phone being the issue, or my new internet router thing up here having an issue. I don't know. The connection should have been stronger this time because my husband put, it's either a router or a switch, I forget, um, up here on the third floor to boost the signal. So it should have been fine. It looked like on my phone it was fine. I even did like a speed test. It looked fine. But it didn't work. Um, it kept either just not showing up at all on Facebook, or at least it wouldn't show up until I was completely done, which, what's the point of that? It's not live if you can't see it till it's over with. Um, or it would show up, but the screen would be frozen and all you could do is hear me. Um, and even that, after a while, would stop working. Like, you could, it was just all frozen. So again, not working at all. I even tried YouTube Live, which is something I had never done before. But apparently it's really much more suited for if you have a webcam. And I use my phone to do my videos most of the time. We have a webcam, but it's at like my husband's office right now, I think? I don't even know where it is. I haven't used one in a long time because the quality of the last one I had was pretty bad. Um, maybe I'll get a new one and try that instead of trying to do live stuff on my phone again because it's not, not working out so well. But anyway. I just wanted to let you know, I really did try, and I'm sorry that it didn't work. But, what I'm going to do is just a regular video <laughs> of reading this book, and I'm even going to talk about a couple of the things that I mentioned in my last live stream on Facebook that was successful-ish. At least it didn't get frozen until the very, very end. Um, it was pixelated most of the time, but you could see and hear me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not what's happening now. So. Anyway, I'm going to do this. Um, the reason it's okay for me to read this one, like the entire book, to you guys um, is because it's already available to read online. If you go to hallmark.com to the page where you can order your own personalized book, it has a link right underneath it that says, like, view me or look inside. I've already forgotten. I think it's look inside, actually. And if you click that, you can actually page through the entire book and read it. Um, it's got, you know, somebody else's name and likeness in it, but you can read the entire story and see all the pictures. Because um, for the new books, typically, you know, for copyright reasons, I wouldn't just read the entire book to you because, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you can understand why not. But for this particular one, I think it'll be okay. Um, and again, a couple of my friends wanted me to do it, so I hope some other fans um, will enjoy this as well. If not, Christina and Billy, this is for you. Hope you like it. So here we go. Katie's Adventure in Rainbow Land by Rainbow Bright. And I'll try to like show you some pages as I go along, as any good storyteller does. <laughs> for Katie, you're filled with rainbow light and make our world shine extra bright. Love, Rainbow Bright. And here's the title page. Here we go. You ready? You ready? One gray morning, Katie found a key she'd never seen. What's this, she thought. And then she saw a glowing rainbow beam. The door was locked, so Katie grabbed her strange new key. And then the door creaked open to reveal a place she'd never been. A rainbow road burst through the sky and carried her away. It set her down in Rainbow Land, where she heard someone say, Hey there, Katie, I'm Rainbow Bright, and I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. There's something making colors disappear. We have to stop the fading colors, so we'd better hurry. Then Rainbow winked, and Katie spun about in a swirling color flurry. Let's go, Starlight. Come on, Twink. Meet Katie, my new friend. She's smart and brave and here to help this gloom come to an end. On Starlight's back, the gang flew high to take a look around. 
Then Katie pointed out a buggy zooming on the ground. Oh, that rascally murky and his henchman lurky, too. Their cloud of gloom turns colors gray, but I know what to do. Here, Katie, take these star sprinkles. Make sure to toss them close. The colors will scare them away, because they think color is gross. So Katie dropped the star sprinkles on Murky and Lurky's heads. They yelled and fled back to the pet pits. You're colorific, Rainbow said. Then Twink gave Katie his pouch that he filled with rainbow stars. You're doing a great job, he squeaked. Consider these sprinkles ours. Back on the ground, they worked to make the castle colors right. They shared the rainbow sprinkles and made everything shine bright. With all that done, we need to fix up all of Rainbow Land. My friends, the color kids, are here to lend a helping hand. I'll ride Starlight through the sky to point out gloomy grays. Be ready with your colors. And Katie, you're in charge, okay? For this to work, you'll need my belt. With that, you're good to go. Use sprinkles from the color kids to make its colors glow. So Katie aimed the belt at all the land that was still gray and shot bright rainbows from her belt that chased the gloom away. Rainbow land looks beautiful and it's all thanks to you. Thanks, Rainbow Bright, said Katie. Can we color my home too? So they hopped on Starlight, waved goodbye, and they rode away. Back on Earth at Katie's home, it was still a gloomy day. But Katie used her new bright skills and belt and stars in hand. She rainbowed up her home and spread color throughout the land. Rainbow Bright and Starlight took Katie back to her own room. You're just the brightest, bestest friend. I hope to see you soon. These stars will brighten gloomy days, so keep a few of mine. Use the key and please come back to visit anytime. The end. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest book ever? Oh my God. I love it so much. Every time I read it, it just, it makes me squeeze. I mean, like, you could tell it had my name through the whole thing, and I got to throw star sprinkles and wear her belt and see the color kids and fly on Starlight and talk to Twink. I love this book so much. I love it so much. Um, something I noticed, I don't remember which video, I think, yeah, I think it was the video where I reviewed this book. I was mentioning how I thought that it was rainbow's hair that looked a little different in the illustrations because this one is also illustrated by jack pullen um but later on i was flip flipping through it and comparing it to other books and it's not her hair that's different it's the fact that none of the characters are outlined um let's see if i can find a good example it's throughout the entire book but i guess this is a good as as good a page as any but yeah like look at the characters they don't have outlines. Typically, um, in here, I'm sure I've got another book close by. Um, yeah, they're colored in, clearly, but they have outlines around their bodies. And you know how I was kind of complaining in some of my other videos um, that the lines in some of these seemed a bit too thick and there wasn't quite enough detail or shading or I thought the shading was weird or whatever. Um, in some of these books, but this one is completely different, um, just completely different style. Like the eyes, not just Rainbow Bright, but all the characters have really big eyes in this compared to this. 
um, which is just a different style. I don't like one better than the other, it's just different. Um, but what I found kind of funny, once I realized the difference and started paying closer attention, um, this kind of reminds me of like CGI? It's almost, almost got that 3D effect, but not all, not actually, or not all the way, or I would probably hate it because I hate CGI stuff for the most part. <laughs> but it's, excuse me. Um, so it has a little bit of that more modern CGI feel to it, but not overly so. And the shading is done so well that it just looks good. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like it without the lines. Even though that's what I'm used to with Rainbow Bright artwork, um, it's not like I completely missed it when it wasn't there. It's just different. I don't know, but the colors are so bright in this book, and I love this glossy paper. Like, here's the color kids again. You can see the big eyes. So, I don't know necessarily that that's going to be the style going forward, because I know there's at least one more children's book coming out, which may not be till next year. I don't know exactly when. But... We didn't have time to see it. Um, Jack was actually going to show Renee and I that one as well when we were at the headquarters, but we ran out of time, so we didn't get to actually put our eyes on that one to see if it's the style or more like the other books that have all been basically in the same style. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But this one's really interesting to me. Yeah. Just thought I'd point that out. Yay. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention, well first I wanted to thank everybody that commented on my live stream video, even if you weren't ava yeah, available, whatever, to watch it when it was live, because there weren't many people that were, because I know it was like in the middle of the day on a weekday, I get it. Um, but several of you watched it after the fact and commented and left me some good ideas, and I'm really thankful that you did that, because I wanted you guys' feedback. Um, you know, when I do these videos, not just for me, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> so I want to hear what you guys like, don't like, and want to see, or don't want to see, etc. So I got a lot of good feedback. Um, it was too many people to do a shout out to everyone, but thank you to all of you who commented on that video. Um, and I just wanted to tell you kind of the results. Not that I was doing a poll necessarily, but I did ask, you know, if they do more horses, what would you want to see? If they do more sprites, what do you want to see? Do you want them to do more do you want them to do animals like Puffy Bright, Kitty Bright? What other characters do you want to see next? Things like that. Um, and I didn't like tally them up because there weren't that many that a tally would make a difference. But I at least wanted to mention the ones that people kind of voted for just by mentioning them. Um, so a lot of people agreed that they did want to see Onyx. So I was happy to see that. I'm not the only one that wants a plush Onyx doll. Um, and yeah, I think one other person agreed with me that... Shimmer, they don't really want um, for the same reason, just because she is not a vintage character. She's just from the 2009 line, so she isn't as official. Um, but I think only one person had anything to say on Shimmer, so... But nobody said, yay, I want Shimmer, either, so... I guess they're kind of like me. They're kind of ambivalent. It's like, if, if they want to make Shimmer, fine, but if they don't, we're not going to lose sleep over it. But we'd much rather have Onyx. Skeletor! He's got something to say, apparently. Um, so that was cool. Um, let me see what else they said. So yeah, for the sprites, they all a lot of them wanted Night Sprite, for sure. That was that had a, a lot of votes, a lot of mentions, and lots of people wanting Moonglow and Tickle Pink. Um, I would say it was probably weighted a little more the way I said it um, when I said I want Moonglow first before Tickle Pink, but... I'd say probably just as many people wanted them both. It wasn't like, all these people wanted Moonglow and only a couple wanted Tickle Pink. They all wanted both of them. So if they make Tickle Pink first, or if they never make Moonglow, I think people will still be happy to get Tickle Pink and will definitely get her. But I hope they do both if they're going to do one, um, personally. And since they've made Sunriser, I kind of get the feeling that they're leaning more towards Tickle Pink before any other character. Um, and someone also brought to my attention, well, someone brought to my attention in the chat, or in the comments under the live stream, and then I saw a picture of another fan that also brought it to my attention. So two things. <laughs> um, what I had said was Tickle Pink was only, sorry, Sunriser was only Tickle Pink's horse 
on the box in the 80s. That was the only place it was said, this is Tickle Pink's horse. Other than that, their relationship was, there wasn't one. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just on that 80s box, but no, it's actually two other places. So in 2009, and I... I am so stuck in the 80s, you guys. I literally forgot this doll existed when I was doing that review on Sunriser. I literally forgot there was another Sunriser. So yeah, in 2009, they also made a hard plastic Sunriser. And again, it says Tickle Pink's Horse. So, and on the 2009 website, it also made this Tickle Pink's Horse. So they have precedent for that in the 2009 line as well. Although, also in the 2009 line, they gave her a sprite named Twilight. So, are we also going to include that in canon? I don't know. Um, if they make... Okay, because again, Moonglow does have a sprite. She has Night Sprite, and he was included in the 2009 line, along with Twilight and Twink. But, these three, I didn't pull the other two out, but they look the same, it's just one is white and one is blue. Um, these three dolls were only sold in Mexico, and they were actually made by Mattel Mexico, it says it on the tag. Um, I have no idea why they were not released in the US. They would have sold like the gangbusters because they're adorable, but I hate the sprite's name. Okay, because these came out in 2009, guess what movie came out in 2008 and was really popular then? Twilight. Now it's spelled different, it's T-W-I-L-I-T-E, so it's spelled I-T-E, kind of like bright and all that. So I like the spelling at least, but, oh no, no, no. I, I think I even remember when this first came out going, oh my god, are they literally, are they really trying to play off the popularity of Twilight here? That's so lame. Um, especially looking back now, because, okay, like, I was a fan, and, well, I don't know if I'm not a fan at all now. I was a fan of Twilight at the time. Like, I read the books, I saw the movies, they were fine, but they are, they're not going to stand the test of time like Harry Potter or something like that, so... Anyway, getting way off topic here. Um, what I wanted to say, <laughs> if they're going to make Night Sprite, which a lot of us want, and it would seem then they would want to make a Pink Sprite for Tickle Pink. So, okay, if they make Night Sprite, it probably is going to be because they're making Moon Glow. So if they make Tickle Pink and Sunriser, then we might expect her to have a sprite. And making a pink sprite would be fine, because there was a pink sprite doll in the 80s. Again, she was not attributed to Tickle Pink. She was not her sprite, but there was a pink doll named D-Light. Those two words. D-E-E-L-I-T. Um, and she's adorable. I like that doll. There were several girl dolls, girl sprite dolls. Like six, seven... I forget, but there are several of them. So I would be fine with her having a pink sprite, but I would want the sprite to be named D-Light, not Twilight. Because that's so lame, in my opinion. <laughs> Maybe some of you are hardcore Twilight fans and I'm offending you and I'm sorry. Um, I don't hate it. I just, it's not my thing anymore. Um, and I feel like that's a dated name now. Like, in 2009, it made sense. But now, people would be like, Twilight? Ew, no. So, I would go vintage if you're gonna go with a sprite for Tickle Pink, even though she didn't actually have a sprite. Yeah. But we know from the 2003 era in the books that Tickle Pink was supposed to be in charge of the girl sprites. And the girl sprites, like, blended color crystals together to make the in-between colors, so like aquamarine or lavender or magenta, you know, the non-primary and secondary colors. So yeah, so that'd be cool if they made a pink sprite, but then I would kind of want other colored sprites too. No, let's, okay, I'm gonna limit myself to what I want, but anyway, okay, sorry. That was a tangent, sorry about the sprite thing, I just had to bring it up because it, the 2009 Sunriser reminded me that there was a 2009 Sprite for Tickle Pink, and then I got... Anyway, the other proof, whatever, that Sunriser and Tickle Pink should go together is in the new Stormy Race book. Ah! The pop-up book that just recently came out from Hallmark. You can see her back there. There's Tickle Pink riding Sunriser in the race. So, in the new Mythos as well, they have... 
Sunriser and Tickle Pink together. So I'm fine with that at this point. I think there's been enough, you know, even from the 80s, it was only on a doll box, but still, it was from the 80s, there has been a precedent for Sunriser to be Tickle Pink's horse, so if they want to make that official now, I'm fine with that, and going forward, that's cool, because I love the doll, and I definitely want a Tickle Pink doll, and I really want a Mango doll. Um, <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, some of you also were like me and wanted Puppy Bright and Kitty Bright, um, my friend Kat made a good point. They did actually re-release Puppy Bright in, yeah, 2003 era, and it was like a replica of the original from the 80s, but not quite as colorful. If you put them side by side, you can see the differences, and it's not as good quality or as colorful as the one from the 80s, but it's decent. But they did not make a Kitty Bright then, so we've only ever had the one. So if I had to choose between the two, I would want Kitty Bright more than Puppy Bright, but I want them both. And a lot of other people <laughs> agreed with that sentiment. And somebody, I think it was Sean, um, pointed out Murky and Lurky. Because I always forget about Murky and Lurky. And I'm really sorry, you guys. I actually do like those characters a lot. And I really do want to see them in doll form. Whether that's big dolls or itty bitties or both. I really want to see the bad guys as well. Because they're hilarious. They're, they're hilarious bad guys. So, yeah. I think that's all I wanted to do for this video. But there, <laughs> Christina and Billy... There's your reading! I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and let me know what you guys think about the other products and what you want to see coming up next. Um, I think a couple more items might be coming out next month. I'm not really sure. So hopefully I'll be doing another review video soon, but even before that, if I can get around to it, my desk is a mess right now. It's a really good thing you cannot see behind this camera. Um, I still need to put away the stuff from my last merch haul, which was months ago, I think, at this point. So once I put all that away, I can do another merch haul, because I've gotten some more things since then that are not new things. These are like vintage items, etc. So I need to do a merch haul video. Um, yeah, but yeah, so I'll be doing more videos soon, rest assured. But I definitely wanted to get this one done because you guys have been asking for it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a rainbow day. See you next time. Bye.